Well, here I am again. Let's just go ahead and get this episode out of the way, shall we? Oh boy. Uh, if you weren't, if you don't follow my main channel, you may not realize I have actually done an LP of the original Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire. God damn it. Before, and I promised I was going to do this episode at some point, so since now I have a proper Let's Play channel, fuck it. This will be one of the first ones I record. Okay, I'm going to turn off winter mode because it is obnoxiously loud. See? I'm wearing headphones while I recorded this, and let me tell you, that's not fun. It's not. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a one-off for obvious reasons, because... I mean, can you imagine how boring this would get if I tried to go over every single round and board and girl and uh But yeah, I now I know, unlike last episode, that all these characters from come from works from a company called uh Actually it's confusing because I think it's now two companies that merged into one, like Norn and Miel. And they do a lot of pornographic visual novels that nobody that have never been translated to English, except one I know for sure, and is the one this girl comes from, and it is called My M Pet, and it was recently translated a few months back, and it kind of has the most amazing premise ever, where it turns out this girl is a giant masochist. And a guy finds out and she's like, hey, are you into this stuff too? And that's that's the premise. That's actually refreshing for porn games. It's it's not creepy. It's just like, hey, I'm into it. I have the kink. Do you have a kink? And you know, that's fine. Uh but yes, uh I'll be showing off a bit of what this game actually is. Let me uh check help real quick. This gives you the basic rules of how to play. If you have played a uh Mahjong Solitaire program before, like even a basic Windows one, you have the basic idea of how this works. There's some credits if you're interested. But this but uh this series is a little special. Uh, let's see, the interrupted data is canceled and you choose no. Okay, uh, this is a little special because unlike uh, most of these, uh, it actually has a timer as you play it and a scoring system, so like, you can't dilly-dally. You gotta move fast, which heightens your chance of screwing yourself over. So I'll play a few rounds with a few different characters and give you an idea how this works. The game is divided into stages, as you can see here, and in each stage has three rounds. On the third round, if you complete it, you get to unlock a costume, and the game is thankfully uh, gracious with checkpointing. You don't have to restart the entire stage, just the round if you lose. And you can even uh, save on a round and pick it back up whenever you want, though you can't play any new uh, stages or rounds with other character or so forth without erasing the data like I showed you just a moment ago. Oh my fucking god, that art. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, if you didn't know... Oh, okay, so I'm... I'm guessing not connected to the... Oh, it's just local, I bet. Oh, crap. Oh. No, there it goes. Oh my god. I'm not the only one who plays this. I suddenly feel less terrible about myself. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, uh, all these girls come from uh, porn VNs. Nobody uh, has ever played outside Japan except a few weirdos. And uh, somehow, a medical company of all things ended up publishing them on Steam, publishing these. Uh, spin-off games on Steam for some reason, and now there are mobile ports out, and I've actually played them, and they're pretty good. Despite the fact all where these girls all came from, I would recommend this if you don't... Uh, just not... don't play this in front of people, obviously. I mean, look at this shit. Look at this. Look at the That's clearly from a fucking porn scene. God damn it. Ugh. 
But anyways, uh, let me just uh, show you a bit how this game works. Because it's actually pretty fun, and I have played both games for far more hours than I care to admit. So I won't. It's not. Uh, I won't tell you how long I've played these for. And yes, I have 100%ed the mobile IO ports. Why do you ask? Shut up. But yeah, this is basically how it works. Like any other uh, Mahjong Solitaire game, you uh, just match tiles and try not to screw yourself over because often uh, tiles uh, become unavailable because they're under other tiles that you don't have a match for and that happens a lot. And because you're constantly on a timer and encouraged to go fast, gotta go fast, it, uh, that really fucks with ya. <laughs> I, the reason I played this game for so long is because it took me forever to unlock everything the first time around. It is absurd. Oh boy. I actually tried recording an episode of this uh, a few days ago while I'm recording this, and everything went wrong because I forgot to check my OBS settings and where the audio input was coming from. So, the video came out silent. And honestly, you need you need to hear some of this for the full effect, so sometimes you just gotta redo it all. Ugh. OBS, it's free, but you know, if you have any other options. Oh uh I want to support them, but you know. Sometimes you do get what you pay for. Same with Audacity, it actually crashed on me when I was recording my uh, a Bleed playthrough, a Bleed 2 uh, playthrough, so I had to redo the entire thing. Thank God that game is only an hour long if you know what you're doing. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a timer bond as you can see here, and you have a combo meter that gets you more points the more matches you make in a certain amount within the before the combo meter depletes so you can rack up more uh, score over and over and that's where a lot of the addictive nature of it comes from I honestly did not know there were leaderboards until today and that's kinda cool uh, I, it's important games like this exist because it scratches a ridiculous uh, itch I have of uh, Simple puzzle games that had that reward you with anime boob. Because you'd be amazed to discover this is a surprisingly untapped genre that d that isn't also just full out porn. There's a lot of few full out porn ones, and there's not many of them either. And I don't have any desire to play them. It's like, like this is fine. There are a lot of cool effects that go on when you all uh, play the game and get combos. The, like, the actual design, the actual graphic design on display here is simple, but to the point, and it looks real nice and slick. Nothing offends the eye, but it's not overwhelming either, and that's hard to pull off. So yeah, I do commend uh, the people who made this. I may not commend them for some of the other things they've made, but I commend them for this. <laughs> and I think I have screwed myself over already uh let's find out oh no i'm fine yes i am safe her dialogue's pretty normal for the most part but once i show you some other characters it's this will not last and i really kind of want to play the game she's from just because of that premise But, uh, you know, I'm definitely not gonna LP it here. Fuck. <laughs> They're selling it all over the place, too. I was surprised by that. I'm glad someone is actually trying to translate these things, because people who make, uh, anime pornography deserve money, too. They work hard on this shit. It takes a lot of time, effort, and money to make game- to uh, make games like that. And because people are so used to getting them online because there was no other way for Western audiences for so long, we don't 
really understand just how time consuming a process it is to create even a very uh, simple visual novel. Like Lupesoft, uh, a studio that makes a lot of uh, queer oriented games that I've been supporting for a while now. Like, they're pretty open about their expenses, and it's not pretty, and there's a lot of their stuff they make is actually pretty short. Like, actually supporting the people you hire to make this stuff, and keep the project in line, is very difficult. And there are a lot of people who work on this stuff. Artists, uh, composers, writers, and so forth. And just, like, basic designers and coders. Because... Uh, just from my short glimpses at game development and coding, I can tell you, it's a miracle anything works ever. It's, it's a shit show. A fucking shit show. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Oh, your voice is annoying already. Let's go, let's try to unlock uh, this one. See how that goes. Oh, I really like this background in particular. There's a lot of uh, more variety in the music tracks this time compared to the last game. There's even some 8-bit tunes in there I was surprised by. Or, or like, uh, not necessarily 8-bit, but more like in an 8-bit style. Like they're clearly calling back to that particular era of video games. I always uh, appreciate when Japanese games do that because they do it a whole lot better than we uh, than uh, I've heard from Western uh, projects. I think it's because they've. Uh, I think it's because they uh, had. Uh, I think a lot more people in Japan have actually played Dragon Quest, and that's where a lot of the best uh, sound, uh, like low, uh, like uh, eight bit and sixteen bit sounds are. And that's what they most often use when it pops up. And over here in America, our, we're so we're pretty obsessed with Mario and Nintendo sound effects, and that's gone old to me. It's got to be a complete remixed uh, piece, like uh, like the uh, Proto Men do. They're pretty cool. I'm there was one uh, band that did some cool Shin Megami Tensei covers. I forget what they're called. I think it was Ed. Had something to do with a sword? Uh, it's gonna be bugging me now. Doki Doki, indeed. Indeed. Wise words. Okay, let's see how far I can get this time. There are certain games I have as, like, uh, wind down games. Sometimes I get a little too much in my head and need to do something to calm me down and What kind of helps me get back down to earth are stuff like this and game dev tycoon like simple simple games with tangible goals you want to get to With uh, simple strategies, but are still very difficult to actually do something you can just lose yourself in also like replaying the start of uh, Western RPGs a lot and like experience different ways a sequence can go. It's just kind of fun. Uh, did I screw myself already? Yeah, let's let's see if I did. Hang on, there might be another th uh, three piece here I'm missing. I'm just not seeing it. Okay rid of this but I don't think there is oh boy uh, okay I, there's still a move I can do ah seven that's something but that's not what I wanted indeed some of the dialogue uh, some of the dialogue the characters in this game sounds suspiciously like they came from porn scenes but it's hard to tell between uh Porn acting and just a uh, stereotypical shy anime girl acting. They overlap a lot. I mean, a lot. Uh, what's. Okay, I can do this. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I lost. Retry. 
Okay, let's see here. We got this. Okay, I probably shouldn't pause talking when I'm in the middle of a blank transition. That would probably be the perfect time to fill in dead air, but I'm so used to just like using moments like that to just kind of think to myself. Or not think at all, just kind of decompartmentalize. Um, oh god, that came out like garbage. Okay, let's see here. There's definitely a place for simple games like these, and if it takes uh, anime titties for the obnoxious gamer crowd to actually like them, so be it. <laughs> Anyone who's still complaining about mobile games because they're casual is an idiot. If they're complaining because of their garbage multimization, uh, ah, garbage um, money crap, then yeah, that's okay. As someone who deals with addiction issues myself, I really hate Mobage a lot. Like, a, m m more than I care to get into right now. It's something I get very passionate about because I really don't like it when a company uh, preys on my wallet by trying to take advantage of a mental weakness I have. Like, go fuck yourself. And so I appreciate that, so that actually makes me appreciate this sort of game more, because uh, on mobile, you just buy it. That's it. There was another uh, Mahjong Solitaire game I found on mobile that you did have to pay for extra boards, but I didn't mind that because it, you, know, you can play uh, a pretty simple version free, and then decide how much more you want. And it was fun, and I can st I still play it today, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, that, that. Okay, there's got to be a two. Ah, oh, it's right there. Okay, so get rid of this. Now I need to get rid of this. Okay, go this, go this. I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do it. Oh, thank god. There's so much just restarting in this game, it gets kind of frustrating. Oh boy. Okay, now let's go to the next round and see if I can't uh, do another... pull out another win. Okay. One seems safe because that one's over there. Uh, let's see. This... Try to get rid of stuff on top if you can. That can really bite you in the ass. But so can uh, letting corners uh, slip by. By that I mean like the edges, if you don't pay close attention to them, you may get locked out of something in the center. So you gotta do a balancing act of sorts. Okay, now... Um, where is the closest bird? Um, okay, so what I need to do is get rid of this three. Oh, no, that three's in center, so I can't. If I can do this, that's something. Let's see, can I get rid of this seven? Um, seven, eight, five. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Now I can get rid of this three. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I can't get rid of that yet. But I can get rid of this, which is what I was after originally. Okay, so that's good. Let's see, what next? Uh, can I get rid of that? All right, I'm gonna do it. I think I have a shot at least. Okay, two, eight. I actually did actual journalism to figure out what the deal was with the first game, and eventually came across the sources of the images and was like, 
and seriously reported on the utter weirdness that a medical company was publishing these games. And I was curious, okay, so where did they get the rights to these characters? And then, uh, and then I just think, uh, the Dojin com uh, the Dojin studio responsible just using them as middlemen as publishers. And that was about it. They weren't trying to hide who they were. Or maybe they were to get on Steam. I don't know for sure. Oh, it's hard to know because it used to be a time where you didn't have to worry about getting ripped off of Steam for Kitty, but now, eh, who knows? They keep going back and forth and everything. It's kind of pissing me off, so I try not to use Steam if at all possible. If something else is on another service, I try to get it there unless it's GOG now because... They fucked up in brand new ways I wasn't expecting. It should have been so easy to not be as bad as, uh, as Steam, but goddamn, they found a way. They found a way to be worse. Just mind-blowing. Uh, oh well. Let's go to stage select. Might as well show off a later game area. Let's see. Let's deal with the rabbit. I like the rabbit. I'm clearly not gonna pick that. Uh, the I think the rabbit and uh, this uh, I think she's supposed to be a Tengu girl. Got uh, added on as uh, fr as a free update uh, shortly after the game first launched on Steam for like 99 cents would shock me. Because the first one was $15, and I felt that was a perfectly reasonable price for the ridiculous amount of time I spent playing it. But, like, I guess they needed, um, to cut the... I think it's, like, $5 on Steam now. It's very weird. But anyways, let's try the bunny girl. The interrupted day was cancelled when you choose no. Okay. Yeah, let's try the bunny girl. Because I think she has one of the most annoying voices in the game, and I want to subject you all to it. Oh, this is that weird piano piece again. I'm curious of where that came from. And here comes the rush part. It's a really strange piece, but I like it. Imagine having to... The reason I'll probably never do a list of some of my favorite video game music is because inevitably I would have to put on something from a game like this. And I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there we go. 7 4. That matches up. Oh, I hate these tall tower ones because it's so easy to screw yourself and not even realize until it's far, far too late. Bless you. I just realized I'm going to have to do a sync test after I think I've recorded enough. Because I forgot to do that and that's really important. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, five and a nine. Get rid of that. Really want to get rid of that now. Oh, there we go. Can I get rid of this? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Uh, oh, here. Oh, I can't do that. Eh. Okay, I can do this. And I can do this. That's something. Three, nine. Can I get rid of this one or this three? I can get rid of this three. Then I can get rid of this three. Then I can get rid of this five. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I need to get rid of that one. That's really important. Ah. Uh. That. Now I can get rid of this eight at least. A constant uh, climbing up is is pretty neat. 
Let's see here. Uh... Okay, finally a one. Okay, I can get rid of that now. Making progress. That. I see. Fascinating. That part sounds suspicious. That's the part that reminds me of a Steven Universe track for some reason. The way it uses piano, it's. Ah. Uh, I'll give it another college try. Let's see what happens. Okay, what track do I get this time? Oh, cool! It's the same track. That's nice. I like the music they pick for this. It's good thinking music, but it's also upbeat enough to remind you you can't just sit down and do nothing. You gotta focus. Ah, I need the T. Or whatever that is. Uh, okay, 8 and a 7, so... Now yeah. Mmm! Apologies. It is the winter here in Texas, and that fucks up the sinuses like you would not believe for me. Okay, let's see here. You probably noticed it if you've listened to any other LPs I've done, so... Really, seriously, apologies for that. Not much I can do about how fucked up my body is right now. Uh, let's see... I remember once in high school I spent an entire class period just blowing my nose because more kept producing up there and uh, it was miserable. I'm not nearly that bad anymore though. Thank God. That's like almost being unable to function levels of, of ill. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, I think. Sure. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, got two here. Don't got any other simple ones. Uh, oh, yeah. But that doesn't help much. That helps more. Uh, is there any other? Yeah, that's safe. Oh, boy. I'm starting to wonder if that's leftover coffee from the morning. Mm. No, that was strawberry weedy cereal. Because I am aging far too fast, and I actually like wheat cereal now. God. Ah, oh boy. Let's see here. There's a move I'm missing, but I'm not seeing it. Four, seven, five, eight. I know at least one person is yelling at their screen and their screen right now watching this. Oh fuck. I don't see it. My eyes are dark. Oh! I see it. And it was pointless. <laughs> Let's just go to stage select. You know what, before I leave you, um... Uh... Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <that. sighs> Let's try winter! Oh my god, this is hell in my ears. I should not be listening to this in headphones. It's bad. It's real bad. Oh my god, this character design is ridiculous. I think she had the, uh, the cool, uh, t uh, the cool 8-bit music, so let's see if it pops up. But now I'm in winter modes. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up with her because she's easier to, uh, her stages are easier and, uh, like, I just like the music. Good music. I'm curious of all the music via that plays in these stages come from the games the characters come from because a few seem to have uh, 
very specific tracks that only play with them. Which is new, I don't remember that happening in the last game. Okay, get rid of that. So you can I get rid of that four? Yeah, I can get rid of that four. Oh, god damn it. I gotta restart. The, the nines. Dads. Dad. <sighs> okay, get rid of that. Can I get rid of this one? I... Oh, boy. This game can wear on you if you play it too much, I'll tell you that right now. It's shockingly hard. One, six, uh... Okay, now I can get rid of that three, but that doesn't help out a lot until I get rid of the higher stuff. Oh! One. Okay, that does help. Okay. Now I can get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. That's free at this point. Alright, good. I wasn't sure how much more I could take. I fucking up because I do that all the time in my real life already. I don't need to do it in a video game. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Sure. I don't know what she said, but I know the acting was good. I guess. Sounded good. Okay, get rid of this. Uh, there we go. Get rid of it. Okay, I remember this track very distinctly, but I'm not sure from where. Now it's gonna drive me up a wall. Because I don't think it's just from this game. I wonder if this is using a lot of doujin works, because I know there are uh, certain music tracks out there that a lot of doujin games use because it's uh, uh, royalty free. Oh, I screwed up. Can I undo that? Back option helps. Yeah, back, okay. Wait, did that do the right thing? I can't tell. I don't... Uh... Mm. I don't think that did what I wanted it to do. Uh-oh. You know what, let's try and get to the third round at least. Christ. I know this is doable. I've done it before. Ah. Okay, uh... There we go. Do this... Uh... There we go. Okay, now let's get rid of that. Five. Alright, I'm doing good. Please, for the love of God, do not let me screw up on the last uh, stage I want to do. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright, I'm getting rid of the really difficult stuff. Thank God. One, five. Uh... Oh boy. This is actually getting tiring. <laughs> Okay, um, 
Uh, oh, how did I miss that? That one was so free to pick. It's just, uh, my dumb brain. Okay, I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Oh, thank God. That four wasn't a trap. Get rid of that. 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 And done. Thank God. Let's go to the last round I'm going to do today, because, geez. Let's see if I can't unlock the nurse outfit. Well, I mean, I've already unlocked it, but I mean, just show that I can't unlock it. You, you know what I mean? I missed the monkey from the last game, but this new effect... It, wait, the sparkle effect isn't there. What in the world? Does it only happen once it gets the, past the neck? That's bizarre. That is a bizarre transition effect that I'm looking at right now. Never noticed that before. Maybe it's a winter mode thing. Huh, who knows. Uh... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Making progress. Slowly but surely. There it goes. There's the effect. I was getting worried that my game was bugged up. Which is weird because this is probably the least buggy game I've ever played. Because there's not much you can screw up, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, that was probably a bad idea, but whatever. Uh, oh, there we go. Get rid of that. Uh, that doesn't open up the options I wanted it to, but it's something, I guess. Uh, I can't get rid of the blanks. I can't get rid of the uh, eights here. Uh, can't get rid of this. Does not appear so, so can I get rid of a three or a seven? I can get rid of a three. Oh. How did I not see that? Now I can get rid of this, now I can get rid of this, now I can get rid of this. Alright, now we're on a roll. And the 7 can go, and uh, no, the, the T can go, and yes! I actually won one and one. Ah. Yay, nurse outfit. It's cute. I like it. And that is all I am showing of this fucking game. God, I don't know what I'm gonna do if they ever release another.